What is up YouTube, Luca here with another PvP build, this time with my Undeath Colossus Spammer, the Magica Necromancer. No introduction this time, let's get straight to the build. As Monster said, take a guess, Barlog, the extra penetration and the spell damage is just too high to not use it. Honestly, it's too overpowered, they have to nerf it. It's even better than 59% of 5 set piece bonuses. I mean, over 11k penetration and 500 spell and weapon damage. I mean, come on, let's just nerf it so we can use other monster sets. But until then, we should all abuse this overpowered monster set. On the body, two trainee pieces, the chest in heavy armor for maximum resistance, and a trainee belt in medium. Then our 5 set piece bonus is spell power cure with 3 light armor pieces and 2 rings. It gives us major courage, almost 500 spell damage if we overheal ourselves. And it's pretty easy with this juicy skill called mortal coil. It costs literally nothing, only one corp and it reapplies the major courage buff constantly if you have it up. Let me demonstrate it really quick. Let me kill this crocodile here. So I have a corp. Die crocodile. So I activate mortal coil. And voila. It reapplies over and over here. Magic coils. Zack, 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 always for 5 seconds. So you can basically keep it up for 100% uptime if mortal coil is up. We can also proc it with our other heal, with the resistance flash, the burst heal. Like, as you can see, it's a pretty easy to proc. Then the mana cut ring, a smithing item, which gives us 60% overall more damage, but decreases our critical damage. On the front bar, the master inferno, this arena weapon is a diamond. Honestly guys, it gives us 600 spell damage on a spammable, on flame reach or flame clench, depends on the morph, and is a uh, one set piece bonus, another 100 spell damage on top, so 700 spell damage for a one set piece. Zos logic, right? <laughs> on the back bar, critical repost for extra crit resistance with a powered sword and a sturdy shield. Uh, all prismatic lifts by the way on the body, even on the shield. 5 impen, 1 well fitted and 2 sturdy. Let's take a good look on the skills. Front bar with elemental drain. It gives almost 6k penetration and minor magicka steel. Then stalking blast bones, our EOE burst damage skill. Super powerful but sometimes buggy and annoying. Try to stay as close as possible on the target otherwise this little skeleton will do something else. Then our spammable flame clench, it stuns too and it gives of course the 600 bonus spell damage uh, thanks to the master inferno. Avid boneyard, this morph so you can activate the grave robber synergy by yourself. I will show you after the showcase a nice pvp combination with this synergy. Inner light for extra magicka and magicka region and the Colossus is ultimate, which applies major vulnerability on the targets, so extra 10% more damage for us, and it deals a good amount of AoE damage too. On the back bar, Mortal Coil, we talked earlier about it, then Race Against Time, our snare removable, and it gives major expedition too. Resistance Flash, our burst heal, then our armor buff, Spirit Guardian, it gives us 10% damage mitigation, a unique damage mitigation, it heals pretty decent and gives us more sustain thanks to this passive here. As defensive ultimate I use, I prefer to use the Goliath, but you could alternative use the Sword and Board or the Spare Wall. As race I am Khajiit, probably the worst race to choose for the setup, but this is my uh, PvE charm mainly. So I will not change the race. The best race would be probably High Elf or Dunma I would say. Or something tanky like Nord for example. Mundus Stone the Lady Mundus for extra resistance. As Buffu the Clockwork Citrus Filet. And 
potions, the normal spell power potions with spell damage, spell crit and magicka. In under pressure situation I use the tricep potions too. And against night blades the detection potions. Quick look on the CPs. Blue ones are Master at Arms, Biting Aura, Resilience and do the Rebuff. Red CPs, Rejuvenation, Slippery, Dagonaut and Ironclad. Almost always the same CPs on every class to be honest. Like I promised before, I will show you one powerful PvP combination. The timing here is really important, I will try to explain it as good as I can. Try to step as close as possible on the target, otherwise blast bones will take longer than 3 seconds, sometimes 4, 5 and in really bad situations it just disappears. Start to apply major breach with elemental drain on the target, then use blast bones. Now you have almost 3 seconds time to use the other skills, so you have to hurry up a bit. Use Avid Boneyard, but don't use the synergy yet. Then the Colossus Ultimate into Flame Reach, so you will stun the enemy. During this phase, use the synergy and Blast Bones will explode. So you have basically Blast Bones, Flame Clench, the Colossus and the synergy at once. 4 skills exploding in a millisecond. If you time it correctly, the enemy gets 4 skills at the same time in his face. Now with some Battlegrounds gameplay, keep in mind those guys are all low MMR players, it's just a showcase so don't expect any competitive fights here. It's perfect to see all the PvP combinations and how to behave in a PvP environment. Have fun! Like you were all
here we are again at the end of another pvp build video i hope you enjoyed it if so sub my channel give a like and a comment below i would really appreciate it it's hot as fuck here i hope you enjoy the weather outside not like me sitting here and cutting videos thanks for watching and a big support guys let's keep going i wish you all a fantastic day and i see you hopefully in the next video ciao ciao